I, I had a Trump joke, but I, I can't say Trump jokes because they just don't work because of the way that I look. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was about, I have four Mexican brothers, and my mom adopted them. And I was like, how'd you abandon me but adopt four from the other team? <laughs> I know I should have voted for Trump. I'm like, it's like, everybody's like, you did vote yeah. for Trump. <laughs> Which I did, and I voted for Kanye. I wrote his name in on the did ballot. You and that aged arguably worse <laughs> than the hilarious. Trump. Vote. Yeah, Trump has now, Trump loves the Jews. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with Kanye, Kanye, not, not so, so much. much. <laughs> no, Kanye's not wrong about everything. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. This is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple of open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here too, Jamie 2.0. I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. So how you guys doing? Back for week two? Hell yeah, already exceeding expectations. Yeah, 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 yeah. We spelled some names wrong, and uh, some of the cuts were atrocious. Yeah, yeah. But, but don't feel too bad, Jalen. Dom also pronounced my name wrong, and I'm the mm. co-host of the show, so <laughs> there's that. Jalen. <laughs> Yo, even got my name wrong, too, once with the O. Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> always wants to use the O. I, always, I know, everybody, everybody loves... Like, it's the everybody. proper way to speak English, all right? True. You guys are just uh, doing other shit with these E's. Yeah, my mom mm. said she wanted me to be special, which... Luckily, I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mission accomplished. Mission of fucking accomplished. Mission you fucking special accomplished. Ass kid. <laughs> mission possible. <laughs> yep. hey, special ass man. <laughs> so we got some big news. This week, JJ hosted his first show on short notice, like a backup QB, coming in, throwing four touchdowns. Hell yeah. Shout out to Will Levis. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, our, the usual host for Homegrown got sick, so I had to step in. And it was fun. It was a cool experience. Never hosted before. I'm, you know, learning some new skills and shit. It was cool. Dom did two shows in a week, back-to-back days, and Thursday doubled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show, but then to open my Thursday mm-hmm. was fun. It was the uh, – Jonathan Silvers do, do, does these uh, apartment complexes, and he does mm-hmm. shows for them, and they pay them and all this. And uh, we had 10 comedians on there. I'll, I have to read them because they. I'm talking about. I was the worst one by far, but they all killed Jonathan, Ty, Funny, Nathan, Jinx, Sierra Moses, Andy Thompson, Alex Z, uh, Raina. I don't know how you say your last name. Cahill. Cahill. All right, Roy Har- Harrison. Harrison. Yeah. Harrison. And Ashton Lutz. And Ashton went on last and murdered him. She's funny, man. Yeah, Hell she yeah. went and killed him. Nah, that was a good. That was a good time right there on. Uh, on Thursday, they met you. We yeah. all did shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. Went and sang some karaoke oh, afterwards. Yeah. Yep, sang I some did karaoke. Low rider. <laughs> <laughs> you did do lowrider. Yeah. yeah. And then sci fi was like <laughs> <laughs> jumping up off the table and shit. That was a good night. That was a good night. Jalen fell off the roof. Fell off the roof. It's on his um on his Instagram. Jalen B underscore eighteen. That's Jalen with an E. Yeah, Jalen. Just with to an clarify. E. And it's Jalen underscore B eighteen. Yeah. Right? That's what I said. No, you didn't. It's <laughs> Did on I? camera. It's on camera. Play it back, Brandon. In 4K. <laughs> 24 you said frames he lying in 4K? Yeah, and I was like, we got it in 4 to the K. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, no, you did say it wrong though. I'm, I actually don't know now because you're so confident. <laughs> See, I thought, but I thought I said it right. I probably said it wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I'm we'll find out next know. week. Dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll come back to this on episode two of Clown College. Oh yeah, Nico killed that shit karaoke. Oh, oh yeah, Nico killed on karaoke and he killed it on uh, shenanigans. How mic, he didn't yeah. get in the top three was criminal. Well, I mean, we, we know. We but he won. murdered. I mean, the whole crowd loved him. I thought they were going to Oh, yeah, he was him. amazing. Yeah, I was laughing. He killed the show Friday, too, because oh, uh, he, he took uh, the, the opener spot. Yeah. Yeah. And Nico's good, man. He's, He's funny, man. Nico Paris. Hell He'll yeah. be on soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. A legend Coming of the soon. game. Mm-hmm. He does the, uh, he hosts the Monday night at the shop. Shop. Great. Yeah. In the shop, Cannabar, uh the shop over there. Where's it at? South Parkway. South Parkway. It's a great. It's a great place to go. Let let off some steam. It's a smoke shop. Well, legal. Yeah, legal. Legal. So you can go there. T H C A. Delta H shit. Shout yeah. out Matt Batson. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So you want to tell them about some stories that we had? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> so so Friday I had the show at Homegrown, and then Dom had a show somewhere else. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Uh, yeah. The sci-fi, sci-fi, sci-fi presents. show. Shout out to sci-fi, and uh, we we met up afterwards at at a bar in Huntsville, 
had a few drinks. We're feeling good. There's like, what, like six, seven of us out there? Yeah. All talking. And then th- this couple walks up. And they sit down at the table in front of us. Sci-fi is dancing. I forgot what song was playing, but he's dancing. We're we're cutting up, having a good time. And she decides she wants to get involved in the conversation. She, really involved. Heavily yes. involved. She comes up, you know, starts talking, starts dancing, but the energy is weird. She's she's being pretty strong. She's you know? clearly off. Like, yeah, well, you'll find out later why she's off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the the dude she was with got so mad that she came over there and started talking to us. He just left. He just completely he just, left. He just left. And she said, she's like, and then she's explaining it to us. She's like, he's not really my dude. I have a dude at home. Oh, but he's not really my dude either. I forgot about oh, that. Yeah. He's just the dude I'm dating right oh, now. Yeah. Right? But she's out on a, word. With, at the bar with another guy. No, man. Yeah, yeah so you guy. know. <laughs> Good character in this woman. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like that security VBC thing I had, man. <laughs> when oh, I was no, down there, this dude. girl was drunk as hell. It was like somebody's mom. She kept showing me her kids. She was like, look at my autistic child. I'm like, okay, cool. And then she came up whispering in my ear. She was like, you know this song? And then tried to hug me and shit. I'm like, mm. Get the, you 50. And then what's weird is the <laughs> next day, why the fuck when I went to pick up my medicine, she was the one giving it to me? Yeah, she didn't she remember lives a movie. shit. And she didn't remember She you? didn't remember shit, man. She was trying to she get some of that young remember. Brandon, though. Yeah. <laughs> She's probably she pocketing pills on the side, dude. Yeah, right. Probably, probably fucked up. Because we kicked her out. This way. <laughs> yeah, my knees hurt, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me a little perk. Mm-hmm. I don't do those things anymore. <laughs> yeah, never again, dude. Never so, again. Then, so then she says all this stuff. Yeah. She doesn't believe how old we are. Or especially you. No. Because she was trying to get Joe. She was trying to tear JJ ass up. She would she would have tore anything up. <laughs> let's just let's just lead with that. There's no specialty. There's no accomplishment with nah, that. She wanted JJ. She she like she turned around, and started twerking just to show him. <laughs> Dang it. I w- I wasn't looking, dude. No, I was not a fan. <laughs> no, he wasn't a fan at how, all. I don't. How old was she? Do you remember? Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. She was like, "How old are you?" And I was like, "I'm twenty one." She was like, "No, you're not." Just kept saying that, and I was like, "For a long time, too, lady." Like, I was wow. born in two thousand and two, you know, y'all from the fucking nineteen hundreds and yeah. shit. And then she she asked you, she didn't believe you either. I don't know, she might have believed me. She, <laughs> <laughs> I think she was like, I said thirty five. She was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, nah. Well, you are old. You just don't look old. Yeah, well, half black, you know. So yeah. I, I yeah. probably get to about like fifty and then fall <laughs> downhill fast because yeah, 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 yeah. the white jeans, you know. How they <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me but uh so she's like she was like don't call me fat which nobody was even thinking that and she, <laughs> she said don't call me fat i just lost 90 pounds the last person who called me fat i had somebody shoot up their house i forgot what about fuck? that okay i just now Swear remember that she, but she kept bringing it up she kept bringing it she up like ain't nobody about to, to call you fat like what oh, if somebody called you a cunt no. you an execution style what, what the fuck <laughs> Fat is the is the like surface level insult. You shot yeah, up somebody. Yeah. You had somebody shoot up somebody's house because they called you fat. And she said she literally said the only reason I got off is because my dad's a lawyer. <laughs> oh hell! Where are we going tonight, guys? <laughs> Nigga, we ain't going we, nowhere. We. Nah, that's what die. Sci-Fi yeah, said. Go, yeah, <laughs> he said. Do you speak French? Do you speak French? What is all this we shit you talking hell. about? Oh, Wake up next morning. Where the up. fuck Dom go? He, he went with that girl. <laughs> <laughs> I will be the one sneaking up. Like, I'll let you. <laughs> yeah, the Dom does do that. You know, you know, you remember Blake, right? Yeah. Shout out my friend Blake. Hell yeah, Blake, Blake Sanders. Uh, Blake's he, uh, as hell. I was talking to him, and he was like, Dom is so funny, man. This one night, he came up to me after the show, and he was like, I'm about to go get some pussy, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was after your show. I, I know. I know. I remember. I know who you're talking about. They came in there with little Scooby Doo outfits on. Uh, what's that? Uh, what's the girl from Scooby Doo? Daphne. That. Hold on. Velma. Velma's in the orange. The one with the glasses. Velma's the yeah. one. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the one. You wear a Velma costume. You got me. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You got me all sure. day. I'll help you find your glasses. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> Hell no. Man, when I was a kid, my shit was Elastic Girl. <laughs> oh what? yeah. Elastic, Elastic Girl, girl from The Incredibles. Kid, and I saw Elastic Girl as a kid. I was oh. Like, His wife. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She's crazy. Thick. She's yeah. got that Mewtwo build, mm-hmm. dude. Hell yeah. She got that donkey on. <laughs> She's crazy. Uh, we was at, uh, so uh, the show we had on Thursday at that apartment complex. So we're sitting in there. I do my joke. I say, I say, uh, I look like Princess Jasmine's daddy. What's that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then 
And then uh, an old lady who was being kind of rowdy, she had she tells she had a couple drinks, at least 60, 65, something like that, skinny mm-hmm. old white lady. And she's like, you fine as hell, mid-set. And so I'm like, I, I think I said something like, girl, you better stop playing with me. And then so she's... Um, so afterwards, like uh, Raina and uh, and Ash was uh, or Ashlyn we were doing a lot of pussy jokes, right? Mm-hmm. And so they were talking, which are funny. Raina's a uh, wrap around yeah. put that shit's hilarious. Oh, yeah. And then she, we was going on the elevator to go down, and the old lady was like, "It was too much talk about pussy. I like dick. I was like this fuck? old lady trying to get dick down right now." Damn. Well, jo- Jonathan, or I don't mean to throw. Did she? <laughs> she said he said she was like that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah he's, he's he also kissing. said she kind of looks like Marisa Tomei. Which, okay, look, first of all, she looked like Marisa Tomei. I'd still be over there right now. <laughs> <Exactly>. right? <laughs> I wouldn't be leaving. No, she didn't look like. Yeah. I mean, Marisa Tomei, Marisa Tomei in like 20, I can't say. <laughs> it's not a tongue twist. I know we're talking about <laughs> know, Jonathan. Right? Right? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, she didn't look like Marisa Tomei. Hell no. That's like Brandon's. What Brandon said. Who did he say look like Francis and Ganu? That dude, the on white Infinite dude from you. that show. So it was, it's just no. He was, he was like, he was the taxi driver. He was the Eastern yeah. European. Eastern, he's mm-hmm. an Eastern European taxi driver. And if I get my editing skills <laughs> enough, yeah. I'm gonna put both both pictures down here <laughs> and <laughs> see how outrageous it is to say he looks like Francis and Ganu. <laughs> he, and he, no... was, he said it like we knew. He said it like he's like, don't he look like Francis? Like we knew who. Yeah. Like it was. I thought it was an open mic around here. I'm like Francis. Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that's, a, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, oh, what the fuck? Which one's Francis? Francis. For a second, I thought you were talking about Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, I was looking at. Shout like, out Charlie. Shit. Charlie Fisher. Yeah, if you st- I don't know why. It's like me if I stare at both of them for a minute. I'm like, damn, they kind of look similar. You might be cross-eyed. I might the be. Images are I'd combining. Sometimes I'd be crooked. I'd be like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> look, like, what the fuck are you looking at, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Y'all ready for a fucking story? Let me tell you something, man. The time I met Magic Johnson, I remember the shit like it was yesterday. I was fat like the fucking basketball and small as fuck. Sitting on this seat like I am right now. And my friend went up to me. He said, Brandon, Brandon, can I sit here? And you know I'm a good ass man, so I said, fuck it. And I got up. And as soon as I sit down, the lights fucking flash. The Magic Johnson starts speaking. And then they say, there's a lucky winner. Look at the seat under you. He got the fucking seat. I gave my seat up for this dude. He went down there, got a fucking picture, got a fucking jersey, everything on the news. And then I got a picture too, but I feel like he thought I was special or some shit. Because my mom ran up for fucking ball and was like, yo, you got to sign my son's ball, right? And he's like, okay, you got a Sharpie? No, I got this fucking pen from the dollar store. So he signs it and sees me and takes a picture. And why the fuck we all look like each other? Like, I don't know if you're going to see it, but we all look alike. Like, I look like his son until now. And you know, one thing that I learned from that was is that no matter how fucking famous you are, they still gonna talk about your fucking AIDS. I was showing everybody. Everybody's like, Brandon, you got AIDS now? Did he touch you? Crazy shit. And I'm like, no. Did he? That, no, no. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Well, they say I got the magic touch. No, <laughs> he put the magic on your Johnson, yeah, dude. Shit. Yep. Johnson and Johnson. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. Man. But that's my story, y'all. Uh, magic touch. That, that's Didn't fucking happen. crazy. That's a great story. That's insane. And that's just, he, like, the first time you ever told us that, Mm -hmm. you casually dropped it. Like, it was just a normal thing to say. And Brandon does this a a lot. Yeah. He drops stories on you that you're like, what are you, what's happening right now? And he's just telling it like it's something everybody goes to. (laughs) Your life is different than every single person I've ever met. It's not relatable at all. (laughs) I know it's weird. Usually (laughs) would make it not funny, but it makes it way more funny because it's like, but when you showed me the picture, I just, I couldn't contain myself, dude. That was the n- most nuts thing ever. Because you were so casual, like, oh, yeah, I met Magic Johnson. And Brandon tells a lot of stories, so sometimes it just, like, flies over my head. Then he whips out the picture, and I'm like, this is the most insane image I've ever seen. If you can figure it out, please put that picture up right Oh, yeah, now. I can get that. It's I can the do that. funniest fucking photo I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> It's, it's the funniest shit. It's up right now. <laughs> you all are laughing with us. It's like it's like Brandon culturally appropriated the Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> he got he got a fucking he got a fucking wish granted without being special or terminally yeah. ill. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh yeah, shit. You wanna watch these clips? Yeah, let's get it. Alright. Ready to watch some clips? I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Let's what do you it. got for me. Alright, here we go. It's a good one. 
And here goes my whole thing. If Lizzo can't call somebody a fat bitch, then who can? Huh? You tell me. Right? And I don't know if you skinnies and normals know, but there's nothing more fat people like to do than call other fat people fat. You don't believe me? <laughs> Yeah. If you don't believe me, you ever seen a thousand pound sisters? You see how giddy those biggins get when they call each other fat? Forehead meat just to shake it. <laughs> look, look, that's for Yeah, I I picked that one because you got you got a big pop on the fucking forehead meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was the biggest one that, I got on that one. In in person it was it was a sight to behold, man. <laughs> they really they really fucking liked that one. Yeah. And I like that. I like that whole bit, like how you transition it from talking about Lizzo, like taking a stand with Lizzo, and then transition it into like the um, Thousand Pound Sisters. Because those are like two relevant topics yeah. that you just parlay into. So like what, with the Lizzo, how I came up with that, we was we were sitting there talking when it first happened with Bryce, right, at, uh, at the boxcar. <laughs> yeah. And um, everybody, everybody had the same sentiment, like was like, how the fuck is Lizzo calling somebody fat? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, how can I switch it up? You know what I'm saying? And make it make everybody laugh at the uh, you know, what everybody the opposite of what everybody's thinking. Right. Because everybody's like, Lizzo calling somebody fat. This fat, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, fat people do love to call people fat. Because trust true. me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. And then uh and then the thousand pound sisters, because that's how I get sometimes I lose people on the Lizzo call fat say fat bitch. Yeah. When I call Lizzo a fat bitch, some people don't like it. Hmm. But uh, <laughs> so I lose them, so I was like, I gotta bring them back because the thousand pound sisters always have clips of them calling. I don't want to be as big as you. you Try know? being my size, Amy. Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite one, man. I fuck with that show. That doctor on there, he be going hard in the going paint, hard. though, dude. That dude is so. Fucking he tells funny. it straight up, and he's not in good shape, which is the funniest <laughs> yeah. part. He's built like a fucking oblong bowling ball, but I don't know. Yeah, I just I like that man, and that that gets consistent laughs every time you tell it. Yeah, yeah, that that was one of the ones that uh, thanks to Jonathan Silvers for telling me to talk about being fat. <laughs> but <laughs> that was like I was like I'll make training. fun of myself in the first portion. Yeah. But then after that, let's go ahead and let loose a little bit. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Appreciate that clip. Two good ones. Now they're going to be some bad ones. I told you to. Oh, put, there will. I be. told you to put the bad one because we I forgot my lines on Monday. Yeah. So we shot. Well, this. I did the same thing, and then I made a joke about Dom for getting his, and it crushed. <laughs> yeah, it crushed. <laughs> but <laughs> threw him under the bus, right? No, it was good because I went and I went up there so confident. I told JJ, I was like, I don't need my phone. Just to <laughs> <laughs> film it on my phone. I don't even need my notes. Yeah, exactly what I said, and I not just forgot. I forgot the whole bit. Complete. Like, like, like it's like a, it. a what a minute and thirty, almost two minute bit. Yeah. And I forgot the whole thing. I was like, oh, what the hell. <laughs> yeah, the, the sets the sets five minutes, and the video I recorded of what you did, the time you did was like three and a half minutes. Yeah, I so it's like, like ninety seconds of material just completely just erased. Completely, and I do, and I did it. I did it like the day before. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that's just how it goes, man. Sometimes you just forget the shit out of shit exactly. and bomb. When you be hitting that pin, bro, you know <laughs> you don't remember <laughs> half your jokes. Oh, hell yeah, and that's at the shop, candy bar, and how you say that? Was that mercantile? Mercantile. I don't know what that means. <laughs> You don't know mercantilism, dude? Economic theory? That's not your thing? Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, I am serious. I couldn't tell you what it means either, though. What I does just, mercantile mean? It's it's like a, it's like a shop. It's another, like a merchant. You know? Oh, okay. Makes Merchandise. Sense. Makes mercantile. Sense. You know, Matt got a little fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he... he tried to show out with that. Shout out Southeastern Hemp Supply, you know, <laughs> for the uppity regnecks. They get faded. All right, let's see. I'm excited about this one. Let's see JJ's clip. Boy, Brandon on the ones and twos. Yes, <laughs> oh. What's going on, y'all? Uh, true story. I was with a girl earlier this week. Nice. And thank <laughs> you, Jason. I appreciate it. Shout out to you, I know. But um, uh, a guy kept blowing up her phone. Kept texting her, kept calling her to the point where it made her uncomfortable. And finally, she, uh, the guy asked her, what are you doing tonight? So she took a picture of me and her and said, probably him. You know, funny goof, funny goof. He didn't like that. Uh, he responded and said, do better. That guy looks homeless. And sent a link to a barbershop's website. 
and that explains the haircut. It's more true than I'd like to admit. You know, uh, I I did it to be to help out my friend. I was trying to be a good guy, and uh, never again. You know, I got caught with a stray for no reason, like an agnostic Middle Easterner getting hit by a Hamas rocket. I had nothing to do with what they had going on. You know, I was just at the wrong place at the wrong time, unfortunately. Yeah, that was. Uh... That, that's one of the ones you say, mm -hmm. and you have a physical feeling afterwards. You're like, oh, every, the, whole, the energy just left the room. I mean, I, I, it's think, it's, I think it's funny. It's okay? hilarious. Yeah, that's it's a hilarious joke. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not being serious, but, you know, it's funny. Because I was like agnostic Middle Easterner, you know. He's not on either side. He's just fucking there, and he got hit by the fucking rocket. That's bullshit. But but that is a true story. That whole story before that uh -huh. of being with the girl and the dude kept texting her and is a like a to get her to get him to stop texting her. He she took a picture of us and sent it to him, and because he was like, "What are you doing tonight?" and she sent a picture of us and was like, "Probably him," <laughs> and he got pissed and he started white dude by the way started saying the n word like oh, a whole damn. bunch of times like uh, like this dude this what is, is he, he's a daily user what was he saying know? he's like fuck this nigga or what basically he was like saying fuck this bitch ass nigga he's like oh, he looks homeless damn, no. no he he was like he need he looks homeless he needs a haircut you know he's dirty do better all that shit like damn. but and the funniest thing is i actually know who this dude is like i played basketball with him before he just didn't recognize me in the picture uh -huh. damn. It was it was just such a funny situation because he got so mad. Like she would open it, leave him on red, and then five minutes later he'd send something else, and he's still just as angry as he was five minutes ago. <laughs> and uh, he did send the link to the barbershop's website, which is hilarious. That I'll is give him credit for that. That shit yeah, is funny know. because at the time. Did you go to the one that he sent? No, I got okay. my own person. You know, <laughs> I got, you know, a black lady gives me this mullet. So before you call me yeah, racist, I'm trying to tell, I'm trying to tell him. Trying to tell him you got to go to Puerto Ricans, man. Yeah, yeah that how you shit lot fried, died, and laid to the side. I'm be honest, dude. I don't think Hispanic people really fuck with me like that. Really? I got four Mexican brothers, and they're they, you know, they're like he's all right. <laughs> what they? <do? laughs> he's all right. He's straight. This nigga be here. <laughs> My half Puerto Rican nephew does not fuck with me at all. For real? He doesn't Man. fuck with me at all. But he also denies his Puerto Rican heritage. Mm. He's only five, but he was dressed up in a suit one time, and he kept saying, "I'm Donald Trump." My grandparents be playing Fox News. Respect. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Respect, little Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the whitest name, though. What is it? Lane. Lane? L-A-N-E. That is a white-ass yeah. name. Yeah. Mm. White as Lane Douglas. Like Lane Taylor? And shit. Like <laughs> Lane, Lane Bryant? Lane Bryant. <laughs> Tony Lanes. <laughs> Tory, Lan Tory Lanes. Mm. Oh, it's Tory Lanes. Oh, okay. What'd you call? I said Tony Lane. Tony Lane. Look at this. We hey, we getting everybody's names wrong. Kill Tony <laughs> Lane. <laughs> we getting all, welcome to the club. Hey. <laughs> He's stupid, bro. <laughs> Tony Lane. That's Tony good. Lane, dude, his lesser known brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the podcast where we don't know words. Well, yeah. besides JJ, JJ smart. Mm -hmm. All right. I know some words. I just throw them around though. I don't know if it's the correct usage, but. I like to I like to say a joke where I have a big word in there. Yeah. Cuz I think I sound funnier when I say big words cuz I don't use them. Cuz you're like sounding it out <laughs> as you're saying it. Right? You're like I don't even know, dude. <laughs> I almost said like a two syllable word. I was going to say superb <laughs> cuz I think it would be really funny. <laughs> I that's half the jokes I write, I want to write are just weird as hell. Saying shit like this, Jalen is bringing them up the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling, I was telling Jalen that night we were out doing the karaoke thing. I was like, I came up with this tagline and this voice, and I want to use it really bad, but I just don't have a joke for it. It's like in a really white voice. I just want to go like, I got some za that'll make you flip your top, man. <laughs> I don't even have a joke for it. I just think it's so fucking dumb. I just want to say it on stage. Make up a story about a drug dealer. Dude, that's yeah. exactly You ever had a white, a white, yeah, a white hipster drug, a white drug dealer, whatever y'all call yourself. Oh my God. So you want to tell them what, what, uh, we usually don't break like this and, but we have to. This is special a special occasion. occasion. Special occasion. It's fucking hilarious. So our boy, Brandon, our producer, Producer Beach Move. He works Beach at a Smooth. local radio station here in Huntsville playing smooth jazz until the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> uh, me and Dom were sitting in here. We were talking about something about the podcast. Mm -hmm. And 
I just thought to myself, I was like, wouldn't it be hilarious if we prank called the radio station and they actually do have a number that you can call in and request a song. It was like 1130 on a weekday. No, it was Sunday. It was after we shot the pot after after the mic. True, true. We called and uh, it was... It was hilarious. I mean, it, w- it was perfect. And you're about to see right now. And what we're actually going to do is he doesn't know it was us. He still doesn't know. He just explained to us last night at the open mic what happened, like it was oh, a real yeah. situation. He's so like, this crazy lady called me. Yeah. You'll never believe what she said. Yeah. <laughs> so later on the day, we're going to have Brandon right in this chair, and he's going to react to it without knowing. Live. Live, live reaction. A live reaction real. without knowing that, that it's us. And we can't wait for you guys to see it. Hell yeah. Make it make it full screen. Yeah, make it full screen. <laughs> Wondering if you had any of that black jazz. Black jazz. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got some black jazz. I want some. Who you got, <laughs> baby? I, I was playing a really glad. Oh my! <laughs> Ooh, George Benson. <laughs> You got any, you got any, Louie? Any who? Louie. Oh, <laughs> shit. You got any, Louie? Like Mo Louie? Yes, Mo Louie. Oh, yeah, I can play some Mo Louie. What song you got, baby? Uh, I would check. And uh, one second, because I have to transition this song real quick, but I'll check for you. Now, you don't have any whites that working for you, do you? <laughs> nope, not at all. Okay, because, you know, I don't like white. Be smooth. That's crazy. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude. This is my favorite part coming up. <laughs> now you heard me, baby. I said I don't like no whites now, huh? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I don't want to hear no white jazz. Because that's not real jazz now, baby. You hear me? <laughs> Now, what song are you going to play by Mo? Uh, let's see. Where are we at? <laughs> they be calling you a Negro boy. <laughs> <laughs> Them white people be calling you nigger now, buddy. <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> I don't. I'm trying to find you with some more. Now, Big Smooth, you know why I'm up this late now, right? <laughs> I was just looking for some companionship. I'm an old lady, be smooth. Okay. Uh, can people hear me? Uh, no. Okay. No. Okay. I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to stop by after you got off your ship. I listen to no, you. Oh, I, I Wait, say it again? I listen to you every night, every weekend. Be smooth. I appreciate that. So you Thank think you. you can come over? Uh, not tonight. I'm busy tonight, but I mean, maybe one day. <laughs> but I, I definitely can tonight. Okay. Okay, baby. Now don't be letting them call you Negro. Now you hear me? <laughs> oh, I will never. Like that's never mind. Okay. Well, you now put me on some more Louis now, baby. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna, first Nick, I'm gonna play a Bill Crooker. While that's playing, I'm gonna look around and see if I can find some more Louis for you. All right, now you give me a call back. Now give me a kiss now, here. All right, have a good one. Now give me a kiss now, you here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> no, that was you. Oh, my gosh. Keep, Brandon, keep the headphones on, man. Dude, 
You told when you started telling us about it last night. Yeah. When you were, <laughs> when you were like this crazy old lady called me. I was like, no fucking way, man. <laughs> You had no idea what was up. Oh no, man, dude. I told my oh family my and everybody. I even told my girl, I was like, dude, this is crazy lady. Dude, we were <laughs> like, sitting right here. Oh and we were my like, gosh. Do you think we could call the radio station that Brandon worked at and like talk to him? Yeah. I was like, there's no way. And, and, I, and I called a number and it like was like a Uganda number. Yeah. And then I was crazy. like, I scrolled down, it was another number, and then mm-hmm. we didn't even think you were gonna answer. And then you said, no. It's be smooth. I looked at JJ, I was like, record <laughs> this shit. <laughs> well, I'm Chinese and Puerto Rican. You can clap for that if you want. Yeah. I'm Chinese and Puerto Rican, so you can just call me Filipino. That's the image of a mouthful. Thank you, thank you. It's the Mexican Asian guy. Uh, let's see. I'm Chinese and Puerto Rican, so I look like I steal rice. Uh, I am Chinese and Puerto Rican, so uh, my you can bet your bottom dollar my parents had sex in Florida. That's where they met and had sex. So that that TGI Fridays, that fake. All right, uh, welcome to the second episode, guys. Two weeks going strong. Thank you for the support on the first one. Today we have a very, very special treat for y'all. Very special. This is a guy. He co-hosts a, a few of the open mics around town. You know, uh, Sunday nights, Boxcar, uh, Black Panther, Hidden Dragon, Mandarin House Productions, also the Mad Comedy Open Mic every fourth Thursday, at Mad Malt's Brewery. He is a exceptionally funny man and very majestic looking. <laughs> <laughs> we have with us today Huntsville comedian Alex Z. Hey, hey. thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's an honor to be here, fellers. Uh, <laughs> Thank I you for coming. Hell yeah! I didn't. Uh, didn't. I wish I brought more to uh, show my appreciation for being here. I wish I could yeah, add more should've. to the wall or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, yeah, hey, we got you yeah. right here. We got you, oh yeah, we got, yeah. You, right we got here. you right here, man. Well, we can have some more. I've done enough. That's when I begin notes. We need more in the background. Hell yeah! Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll slowly <laughs> That's the add. The main note. Shit. <laughs> So how you been, man? I've uh, been doing okay. Work's winding down. Real real life work's winding down. Trying to do more comedy in the winter. Mm, hell yeah. You know, nice. Winter, notorious comedy, uh, hot, hot, hot season. Is it for real? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> well, I think they say it's bad in the summer or some shit, but it's also bad in the winter. Like, it's <laughs> just bad. It's a hard business. <laughs> it is. It is. But you keep on putting on these shows, man. You you and Jalen, so, so appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. Hell yeah, dude. So, uh... So you're you're born in Baltimore, right? Yeah, Baltimore, MD. Yeah, hey, is that the first place you did stand up too, right? Um, kinda, no, not really. Uh, I did a little bit. No, yeah, I mean I'm it's the first. Yeah, it's the first. <laughs> it's sort of yeah, but like I did a little bit in high school when I went to like just like at a, a coffee shop in town, you mm-hmm. know. Or, but like that wasn't real. It was it's even worse than when I was in Baltimore. So let's say it was in Baltimore. Okay, okay. Let's re- let's let's rewrite history right here. Yeah, hell yeah. How long did you live up there? Uh, I was born there, lived there till I was 10, and then I moved to Indiana. My mom married a white man and moved to Indiana, uh, middle of nowhere, four, like 4,000 people in the town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. damn. A lot of them look like you. Uh, yeah, probably. probably. You were the only <laughs> Asian one. Uh, th- there was a Chinese restaurant, but I don't know where the fuck those, they, they, those, they came from. Those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the fuck they came from. We only saw them there. Maybe they lived there. <laughs> Little little grim, but uh, yeah, and then uh, that was in middle school, um, and then in high school I moved to Kentucky. That's where I went to high school and graduated, Richmond, Kentucky. Richmond, Kentucky. Right. Look me up. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> lived in Wisconsin for a little bit too, huh? Yeah, I lived there for a year with my ex. I moved there with my ex after. Okay, so high school mm-hmm. in Kentucky. Then I moved to Baltimore to do stand up. That was when I turned eighteen. I moved to Baltimore. I'm gonna make it. You know, like, and, uh, but I couldn't get into any bars or, like, I didn't know how to use the internet. So I didn't know how to look shit up, like, where shit was. So, uh, yeah, then I moved to Wisconsin with my then girlfriend, current ex, uh, for a year. Middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Damn. You like it. You you, you like the little middle of nowhere towns, huh? No, 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 no. They're the worst. I just end up there. I I fit in well. (laughs) I'm good at being trash. That's for sure. I'm good at being, like, no future trash. That is my calling. I hear you. I'm with you. Yeah, so where along the line did you discover stand-up and thought that's something you wanted to pursue? Uh, So my friend John and I, in high school, we would uh, skip class a lot or whatever, and we'd end up in the 
essentially our town's equivalent to the Barnes and Noble parking lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we'd listen to Pandora. We'd listen to the Louis C.K. stand up station. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Love him to this day. <laughs> okay. yeah. I support um, every decision. I mean, he's <laughs> ever made. never did anything wrong. Yeah, yeah. He asked, right? He, he, okay? yeah, He's he asked. asked. He asked to jack oh. off. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, I'll he didn't up. have an axe. Dog. I'll, I'll pull up the expose <laughs> and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. No, I have no clue. But um, yeah, we'd listen to that and then uh, we'd always try. We always try to be the class clowns. Mm. So at some point near the end of high school, it clicked that I had like no skills, <laughs> and so like I wasn't working towards anything. Like I didn't have any plans. So. Uh, it was sort of like a panic decision, but also the only one that made sense. You know, like it was a little bit of both. Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the answer to that question. That, that show on Thursday, it was fun, wasn't it? Thursday, yeah, that was a. Like he didn't even know a, what she does. So many shows, yeah, he does like, oh, shows all the time. No, yeah, I'm yeah. just, I'm just dumb and always high. That's why <laughs> I just fucking have no, no short term memory. Uh, yeah, no, that was really cool. That was a actual actual residents from the building it was an apartment show residents from the building came up and it was uh ended up being a good audience yeah yeah everybody killed yeah you did too dom uh, dom was on it too i did okay is that what you're heard... searching for no no no, no. <laughs> i was just saying i was there with you yeah i, mean, I was on the show so. <laughs> i need i need you to confirm this alex dom told me that uh, an older lady was trying to get at him during his set when he said he looked like princess jasmine's father from a lad. Oh yeah, she said he's hot. Yeah, she just oh, yelled nice. out, "He's hot," which was a hilarious response. To... <laughs> yeah. She didn't say you were hot. She said Princess Jasmine's dad, was hot, which is <laughs> well, we hilarious. Look <laughs> Same thing, dude. Did you get that on camera, like on film? No, no, no. Damn, dude. I, I was like so to... nervous, man. It was my first one. I, I was, oh, I was sure. sweating and shit like I am now. No, it was real cool. It was real chill. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Uh, no, but uh, you're definitely. You, I would. I would uh, uh, call you sexy Aladdin's father or Jasmine's father. <laughs> Suave for yeah, sure. Like, yeah, I'll take it. You have a swagger to you. Yeah, <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> so what? Like, when when you're listening to like Louis C.K. on Pandora Radio, the first time you hear it, yeah, you know, are you like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do, or was it like a process of finding that out? Um. It was that a process to find out that I wanted to? Uh, yeah, it definitely didn't happen right away. It was like, yeah, that that plays the panic decision plays more into that. Yeah, as as, as the high school grew shorter, mm. is when I don't remember when exactly when I made the decision, but um, I've always wanted to write stuff and like do stuff and whatever, like co- creatively, com- funny, funny, funnily. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's a word. Yeah, but yeah, it definitely clicked. Let's just say at the end of high school as well. Let's put that. Oops. And when you started doing it at first, was it just like a casual thing? Like, oh, I'm just going to do this on the side. Or was it always with the mindset of like, I actually want to try to do this for real? It was always with that mindset. But at first I did it casually with that mindset. (laughs) Like I I did not have the, I mean, I did. But again, I didn't know like where to even look. To go, I could, couldn't go. I was only eighteen, so I couldn't get into bars. Like I, it, I was limited a lot. So I'm, I don't know. I forgot what your question was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, always high. It's fine. Like when when you were starting out, though, did you have somebody that inspired you that was like local or around you to kind of like push you to that next level? Oh no! Literally, uh, until I moved to Huntsville, I did not. There was no local comics that I ever talked to. Really. Oh damn. Yeah, Huntsville was the first place where that was even a thing. Um, not to say, I've, and then now I've gone back to Baltimore since, and like they do have a scene. Like you know, I was missing missing stuff going on, but um, yeah, there were no. I was no. Uh, it was it was a lot of me being in my head, a little bit of delusional. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, got you. No, delusion, you need it. Yeah, you need it in this game. Do, <laughs> yeah. or else you'll kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But so when you got to Huntsville, was there how how does that compare to a scene that doesn't have a lot of like community or at least you weren't involved in it? Do you think that being like tighter knit with the other comedians in the area improved your comedy game or? Um, yeah, absolutely. Because um, it just makes you think about comedy from different perspectives. Like you know, if it's good to make comedians laugh, but if only comedians are laughing at a thing, that's just a different way to think about a joke you know maybe i change it so not only that you know i don't know like it's or you keep doing that because that's what you want to do mm-hmm. but yeah having comics and obviously their input's really important 
even if they hate you. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, you know. Yeah. Um, Once they hate you, probably gave the best advice. Yeah, exactly. Unfiltered. Yeah. <laughs> Unfiltered, exactly. <laughs> so, um, I asked the hard-hitting questions here. Okay. Right. okay. So, you tweeted General Mills that they should add more marshmallows. And General R- R- Mills responded. Wait, wait, what did I say? Uh, that they should add, uh, no, that they had too many marshmallows. Yes, yes. All I right. wanted to be clear yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, okay. And then they responded. <laughs> he pass corrected it on. your yeah, yeah, Right, right, real fast. <laughs> they responded, what, we'll pass it on their team. Has the marshmallow count changed? Uh, I haven't. Okay, so my uh, R&D department hasn't had the time to get around <laughs> to that yet. Um, but my hope is, you know, from that reply, I was very confident that uh, my lobbying efforts were not in vain. <laughs> And what what pro- is this? Just a bag of marshmallows or what? No, no. I th- just think in Lucky Charms, I think oh. it was Lucky Charms. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just has too many marshmallows. The 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 ratio of marshmallows to non marshmallows is off. You like the marshmallows yeah, in there? I, don't I like. With, I don't fuck with Lucky Charms. I mean, yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't really either. either. That's exactly. the thing, though. I have opinions about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Dom would like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. My favorite. That's pretty good. That's number pretty one. Good. Yeah. It is really good. I eat honey bunches of oats a lot. Oh, damn. That's, that's a good one. I like that, yeah. yeah, yeah it's really okay. good. It okay. makes me think I'm healthy with the mm-hmm. granola. I like Raisin Bran Crunch, too. I, I, I hate Raisin. Oh, oh raisin. yeah. Raisin Bran Crunch is the best. Dude, yeah. raisins raisin are the best. Crunch? Hell, yeah. I don't like raisins on their own, really. But, like, Trail Mix is the shit. Uh, raisin <laughs> Bran Crunch is the shit. Regular Raisin Bran is ass. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, hilariously the ass. It's like the honey, like just Cheerios, not the honey nut Cheerios. Yeah, it's yeah. the equivalent yeah, of that terrible. ass. Yeah, it's like it's soggy for some reason when you're eating. It's like how's this dry cornflake <laughs> soggy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's yours? Damn, I'm kind of basic though. I like frosted flakes. Oh, that's Simple. a good one. They're good, well, that's dude. What the I grew flakiness, up with. I fuck with it, dude. It's like the croissant of cereal. <laughs> that's what I grew up with. Absolutely, it was just straight up frosted flakes. And tigers are cool when you're a kid. Mm-hmm. Way better than a fucking leprechaun. Oh, way better. I don't watch Nickelodeon anymore, but I wonder if it's still like all the time frosted flake commercials. They're great. Damn. It's like this is a balanced breakfast. It has 200 milligrams or 200 grams of sugar. Yeah. Do you think they're leaning into the pronoun thing with a they're great? <laughs> I think it's the, the they I are. A while. <laughs> That's good. So, uh, so I like to call you the costume king of Huntsville. Yeah, which is not, I didn't mean for that to happen. Master of disguise. Yeah, oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I, no, I like, uh, yeah, like. I apparently I like dressing up on yeah, things. Yeah, Alex Santa don't, don't, I was gonna say, don't you have a Santa hat here with you right yeah, now? Yeah, I have a Santa hat with me. Yeah, <laughs> just you just carry that around. Uh, for the holiday starting November first, I decided to. Yeah, <laughs> I like the sprout that you have on the bill of your hat. It's like yeah. how the, the rednecks put the fish hooks on there. Yeah, yeah, sprout, is that what? Dude. Okay, yeah, sort of. I fuck yeah, I with so. it. Yeah, it was a uh, a hippies left it at a concert I was bartending and. Uh, I took it. So you happened upon this relic. Yeah, exactly. Damn, dude. And it's not broken yet. Or it happened upon you. Oh, shit. Now it's got its roots. (laughs) Oh, sorry. I'm slow. I'm slow. That's fucked up, man. (laughs) I'm offended, and I don't know why. Oh, shit. Uh, our, our researcher sent me some intel. He said that you stated that Franz Ferdinand is not that bad, and you said that in 2010. Would you like to expand on that? Nah, I think you should. Uh, no, but I thought I deleted uh, that. <laughs> sa- was that a tweet? Yes. yes, yes. How'd you find that? Because I thought I deleted all my That's other. That's our me- research guy. That means we the, have people. That means there's some n words left up there that I <laughs> <laughs> didn't get around to. <laughs> 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 we have Puerto Rican. You can yeah, I guess with. I guess you can way back machine uh, just about anything probably. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's deleted my tweets now, but uh, yeah, redacted dot dot dev. That's a Is hole. That a real in, thing? That's a hole in your logic. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know what. The fuck. That's why you got to make a burner to say those type of things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I've learned now. <laughs> oh my god. But uh, yeah, I don't remember what I meant by that. Um. I'm more aesthetic, worried that my old tweets are up a lot. <laughs> They're definitely gonna. I'm gonna get canceled. That's hilarious. I'm ready for it. No, it'll give me time to think. Well, of it. well. Think also, of you know, speaking of Twitter, in 2013, you Fuck. got a you got a retweet from Azizi Gibson. Yeah, Azizi Gibson. Do you know who that is? Yeah, the rapper. Yeah. No. no, you don't. Okay, no. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a picture of him on my phone. He looks like dumb. Yeah. <laughs> no, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he get thick? I thought he looked more like Danny Brown. Um, 
but maybe I'm just racist. <laughs> uh, I don't remember getting that retweet, but I remember listening to a Gazzezi Gibson. I forget oh, what yeah. album or how. And you look so much different now, man. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I've gotten wilder. We just stared at images of you <laughs> for hours throughout all stages of your I can't youth. This is the same oh guy. no! Oh no! Um. Uh, oh, the Alex Jones. So you're Al- you're a Alex <laughs> Jones fan, right? No, not a fan. No, I wouldn't <laughs> call myself. So you don't think Alan J- Alex Jones is hilarious? Uh, in the same way that I think um, Dante is hilarious. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, in the same way. <laughs> But yeah, what that, did I mean by that? Is, you is it a compliment? Is it a, yeah, Alex no. Jones is one of the funniest people who doesn't mean to be funny. Yeah, yeah exactly. World, so. I I don't want to call him funny because that might encourage his like. But you know what I mean? Yeah, objectively, he's like a hundred million dollars in debt. Yeah, just objectively wildly funny. Yeah. <laughs> so what what was happening? Uh, we're gonna post a clip right okay. here. Millie Weaver reporting for Infowars.com. We are here in Richmond, Kentucky, where protesters have gathered, where Donald Trump is holding another rally here at the Kentucky Eastern University. So let's go go talk to some people. Hello. Okay, let's go talk to some of these protesters. There's a lot of them. We've heard cars going by bumping that song F Donald Trump. Hi, why do you not like Trump? Let's go talk to people. Any people that will talk to us. Okay. If you give Alex Jones my resume, I'll talk to you guys. <laughs> you want to work for Alex Jones? I think that would be crazy. You can quote me on that. <laughs> what, why do you have a rubber chicken, sir? And so <laughs> what was happening? Um, it 2017. Was a, info yeah, I think it was yeah. a 2017. That was when I circa uh, 2017. Is that it, here in Huntsville? No, that was in Richmond, Kentucky. That okay. Was, I moved back there after Wisconsin. All right. I'm moving back, and then we're going full circle into the timeline again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I moved back to Wisconsin or back from Wisconsin, uh, and that was I was with my ex at a Trump ra- uh, anti-Trump rally. And uh, I didn't. Oh, it was an anti-Trump. Anti-Trump rally. He was. He oh. was at the. He was coming to the college in our town, so we were on the other side of the street. And I had brought a rubber chicken, cause uh, just to be random, just to be like raw or XD random. <laughs> I was shaking that at people, and they were like, "Why do you have that?" And I'm like, "You fucking idiot!" Like, yeah, it, was, it was pretty funny. So Alex Jones isn't a Trump guy. Is that a commonly known thing? He is not. He's not. Cause he I thought you Trump said it was guy. an anti-Trump Trump rally. Trump. No, that in there were Trump, there were pro-Trump people there though. Oh, I like get a rally. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. He was speaking yeah. Alabama education. And so, um, <laughs> yeah. 49th, <laughs> not last. Shout out Mississippi. Yeah, and so they sent info wars to a tiny fucking town, and yeah, there were no one was talking to him. I thought it was hilarious. I wanted to talk to him, but my ex was like not dragging me, but you know, but like you yeah, know, didn't want anything to do with him. What would you say to Alex Jones? Oh, my name's Alex too. <laughs> right, Alex, come on out. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be fucking, I'd be, I don't have any. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I have a hard time interacting with people that don't seem like they live in the same world as me. Yeah, like reality sure. wise. Uh, so I don't know what in the fuck I would say to him. Yeah, you could just. I'd want to hear him talk. You could have fun with Alex Jones. Just ask oh, him a question. God, just you can get him any question. Just yeah. rolling. I wish he was more I like the it. Bible. Where like things he said were tr- more like Nostradamus, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I wish he was like speaking an allegory and canto. <laughs> but no, nah, I think he's just crazy a little. All right. And, yeah. So so we didn't know you whenever Trump was president. You were doing mm-hmm. comedy then, right? K- kind of, I guess. What yeah. Do you mean kind of. When did when did Biden <laughs> begin? Yeah, Dumb, ki- kind I guess. Of yeah, means. kind of. Yeah, not like I do it in Huntsville. Okay. Like it was like once a week, maybe I'd do a thing at a music open mic. Would all the all of the open mics be? Would the material be centered around Trump back then? Um. Oh man, this goes. So this goes back to I was not around other comedians during oh. that time, which is so crazy to even think about. I was just a fucking like in a weird floating <laughs> entity. But a lot of mine, not a lot, but I had. I would used to. I used to go on stage and say I would kill Trump. And that was like my joke, and see how people, what people said, if they looked at me. Like, 
And one time I got drunk, I got really fucking angry, like really angry. And I was just like, I'll, I'll do it. Look at me. I'm <laughs> doing I'm on my way. Like, you know, it was pretty funny. It's a good bit. He like showed me his, like, oh, I work for the Department of Homeland Security. But he was really drunk. I was like, mm-hmm. I don't care if you do. Like, you're, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So a lot of mine probably was. Do I have any other? I was going to say if you had a good, if you had a one. I had one. I, I did one. <sighs> I really have any Trump material? Not really. A lot of my material before wasn't really material. I was just saying things and seeing okay. how people reacted. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a Trump joke, but I, I can't say Trump jokes because they just don't work because of the way that I look. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was about, I have four Mexican brothers and my mom adopted them. And I was like, how'd you abandon me but adopt four from the other team? <laughs> I know I should have voted for Trump. I'm like, it's like, everybody's like, you did vote yeah. for Trump. <laughs> Which I didn't. I voted for Kanye. I wrote his name in on the did ballot. And that aged arguably worse <laughs> than the hilarious. Trump. Vote. Yeah, Trump has now Trump loves the Jews. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he fucked with him. Kanye, Kanye not, not so, so much. much. <laughs> you know, Kanye's not wrong about everything. But um <laughs> <laughs> moving on. <laughs> everything has a bit of truth to it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Just a tad little touch. <laughs> you know, anti smoking campaign and whatnot. <laughs> all right. Speaking of uh, horror, have y'all talked about Juggalos yet here in Juggalos. Clown College? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's talk. Y'all about know anything about Juggalos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. ICP. ICP. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. And claim an insane clown posse. I used to live with a Juggalo in Wisconsin. Shut um, the fuck up. That's what yeah. the fans are called, right? Yeah, yeah the fans are called Juggalos and Juggalettes. Mm-hmm. Um, Juggalettes. They have a lore behind them. He did his whole face paint and everything. Like Wait, every your, day? Your fa- no, no, not this guy. Oh. No, he was, uh, he was like... God, he was kind of, he was a bad name. He gave Juggalos a bad name. So they're good Juggalos and bad Juggalos, just like they're good people and bad people. My drug dealer up there in Wisconsin was a good Juggalo, though. Andy, he was a good dude, a little Filipino guy. <laughs> a little thick Filipino man. A Juggalo. Filipino Juggalo? Yeah, yeah. Ah, did not know that Yeah, was he was cool. Thing. He was cool as fuck. He would paint his face and shit randomly. Like, he would, like, <laughs> ra- i show up to his place, and he'd, like, he'd be in, like, a clown. He'd dress, he'd dress as, like, clown college, but, like, Juggalo pick him up. <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny. Um, but yeah, they have a whole lore. Do you know anything about their lore? Not really. Is this like a Midwest thing? Oh, they're huge. <laughs> it's a it's a big thing. Well, I don't the, know if it's Midwest. Well, uh, the ICP was Detroit. That's where okay. they originated. They came up with Eminem and G Unit. Fago. That's crazy. I don't know if that's true or not. But um, <laughs> the same well, er- er- around that era. What's they, the like, allure be- though? Like what? Like they they're, make? I know they make music. They're right? a rap group, right? They're a musicians. Kind of musicians. They do kind of like rap and rock. And then they have these Juggalo and Juggalettes who follow them like the Great for Dead. People will follow oh, like them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what, why dress up like the clown? That just seems that's, like, pa- that's probably the funnest part. That's so, probably why they do it. Well, that, so that goes into their lore. So they have this. They have a series of albums. I don't know if there's all their albums or it just a, like a select few of them called The Dark Carnival. Mm-hmm. And the concept is, uh, oh, that's where the souls go to die. Or whatever goes, go, yeah, it's like hell or whatever, the fuck, oh. or before hell or some shit, whatever. And then I don't, you know, I, I love them, I love them, I care, I care <laughs> deeply about you. Um, but um, I'm learning. Yeah, but uh, fuck, I'm lo- I'm losing my place. Uh, yeah, but they uh, they're listening to the to the albums to try to like redeem themselves or something. Like, That's the like, lore. Yeah, it's a lo- or something. So it's like it's worse the carnival me. rides. Holy shit, I didn't know that. Are supposed to like redeem? I don't know. <laughs> so I read it's ICP on technically gospel rap. They're trying to save their soul. Satanic gospel rap, but uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. no, but they're uh, they're dope as fuck. Uh, uh, they're much funnier as a idea than um, <laughs> close, I would imagine. But I'm sure they're great, they're great dudes. It's like obviously. socialism on paper. It's great. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, juggalism. <laughs> juggalism. <laughs> they they have uh, some of the fans get their face tatted with that with that. Uh, oh, like that dude on TikTok. Is he was one? he had like a full on clown That's, tattoo on his juggalo. face, but he was going through laser removal surgery, and he was documenting the process on TikTok, and he was like finding God. I've seen that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was yeah. thick on there too. That yeah. black, he had an all yeah. black thing. No, nah, more power too. I love, I love any community is cool to me. It, obviously, there are bad aspects of anything, but uh, yeah. What about Scientology? <laughs> no, nah, they're cool ones. Tom <laughs> cool Cruise is the shit. Uh, I'll argue that with anybody. Tom Cruise puts out banger after banger. I saw. <laughs> I don't know if that means anything about Scientology. I mean, um, 
Something's working. I mean, he's he's jumping off. What's the tallest building in the world? Taipei Bur- 101. Oh, Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. Yeah. For a movie, he's gonna be the first actor to act in space. I read that. That's now, crazy. <laughs> I'm about to sign up for Scientology. I'm just saying. It. <laughs> Dom, watched... you don't got enough money. Sign up. Just <laughs> yeah, folks, be yeah. so fucking for real right now. Dude. Um, you'll be like Channing Tatum at the end of This Is It or whatever. This <laughs> yeah. is us with Danny McBride holding yeah. a chain on him. <laughs> Yeah, remember oh, that? this is the end. Yeah, yeah, this is the end. Yeah. Oh my gosh! When Michael movie. Sarah died in that fucking, it was a great movie. Yeah, that was even, yeah, I loved it. My favorite parts when he's like, "I'll come all over this house." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "You got DV, you got iPads in the walls, and you're jacking your dick like a pilgrim." <laughs> <laughs> and half the fucking actors in that movie are now canceled, dude. That's funny. That? Really? Yeah. Who? James. James Franco. Jonah. Is Hill. he canceled? Well, yeah, because he, he do? I think he hooked up with a student or something. James Franco? Yeah, yeah it was like, like essay stuff. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Was it an adult? Or? I, I, it think, was an adult. I think they were Well, I think age. there were probably allegations of that, but I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I don't keep, I try to tune yeah, out. I didn't know, I, I didn't know he even got canceled at all. That's my first time. I don't know, but that. that's the real life. This is the end. All of them are just going to end up getting canceled. <laughs> Seth Rogen's going to be the last one. What's yeah, Michael's right. God? Michael Sarah would break my heart if oh, he got canceled. Yeah. He slapped Rihanna's ass in that movie. Yeah. And the deal was, she was like, you can for real slap me on the ass if I can smack you for real after you do it. And then, yeah. and then they both actually hit each other. Nice. It's crazy. Dude. I would also agree to that. Yeah, it's yeah, the most yeah. progressive thing ever. You can punch me in the face, I get to slap Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> Dom, this isn't that kind of show, man. <laughs> this is a respectable family show. We got titties on the desk over there. Ain't a respectable shit. With a bullet inside of it. <laughs> a a cow. large bullet. And and I, I might be able to get in trouble for that, but I, I remember... Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would rip you in half if it shot through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll take out... If it shot this uh, <laughs> side, oh, right, it'll it take yeah. you out. And they're gonna, the police are going to come in, see the bullet, and see this fucking map right here. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be like, uh, sir, you have some explaining to do. <laughs> I have a really fucked up would you rather question that I saw on the internet earlier. Let's okay. Do it. Uh, the question is I'll start with Alex since he's the guest. Hell yeah, of course. Would you rather, if you woke up and you were in a threesome with your mother and your father, oh. would, you, would you move backwards or forwards to get out? Because you're in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like uh, I'd bite off my own tongue and drown in my blood. <laughs> That's what I fucking did. Ugh. Fair. <laughs> I would back up because my dad's all bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just stand up because I didn't. I never met my mom. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> There's no uh, way he had a big dick. I'd back up. I back up. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 question felt like a bomb at open. <laughs> it just killed the energy. I, I feel so bad. I was like, would you rather fuck your mom or your dad? You know? <laughs> and I look like this. So. There's that as well. Well, it's, that's not wrong for any reason. <laughs> it's not morally wrong. No, yeah. So you're coined as the most racist comic in Huntsville. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> What's your favorite slur? <laughs> <laughs> for, you can say one for each category. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, my favorite slur. I mean, the N word, right? Like to say? Yeah, Wait, to say? Yeah. Oh, to say? Oh no, I, I never say the N word. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was convincing. Favorite slur. It's the one that really tickles you. Oh, the tickle. Uh. I don't know if there's one that takes And none of them sound, all of them sound like they're supposed to be slurs. I will say that. None of them yeah. necessarily tickle me. I'm okay with saying some more than others, obviously, right? Like, you know, there's a spectrum. But, uh, yeah, none of them really tickle me. They all definitely sound like, dude, I used to bandy around the F slur pretty hard. Damn. Uh, it was crazy, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thinking back, uh, it's not even that long ago. It's like, <laughs> yoink, uh, pre-pandemic. Ugh, like, you know. Yeah, but you hey, wouldn't call a gay dude that. Oh. I mean, if, oh, you were? if we were oh. friends, I don't if know. The probably, shoe fit, yeah, yeah. Back then, I probably would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, who knows? Like, yeah, yeah, you, that's that's crazy. something you call your friends back in the day. We don't say we do this anymore. But uh. <laughs> yeah, no, like that'd be crazy. <laughs> like if friends. I talked, like I talked, that it'd be crazy. It'd be fucking wild. 
<laughs> and there was a point where I stopped, but my friend kept going, and I was like, <laughs> and I like realized that it was insane because we'd be in public. <laughs> They're just fucking saying crazy shit. <laughs> you guys ever go on rsdb.com? What's that? The RSDB. Racial slur database. Oh, mm. no. It has every racial slur you could think of. Oh, I'm going to go to Black Jamie. No. <laughs> <laughs> For real, pull it up. <laughs> Add that one to the list, Black Jamie. <laughs> but, uh, Add yeah. Black Jamie to the list. <laughs> <laughs> I. I saw one one time for white people, and it made me chuckle very hard. I think it's so funny. Untitled document. <laughs> like when you make one on like Microsoft Word, it's just a white piece of paper. <laughs> is Untitled that on document. there? Is that on the database? That's, I think that's in the RSDB, dude. <laughs> Untitled, Untitled document. document. <laughs> Saltine American. That was just on the site map. That had nothing to do with the racial <laughs> slur. <laughs> well, all right, Alex. Thank you for coming. Hell yeah, nah, it's been fun as fuck. Hell yeah, Hell yeah man, so appreciate you, it. If you want to promote anything you got right there, and we'll put it up on the screen. Um, let's see, alexzcomedy.com. I just uh, finishing setting that up. Uh, I'm gonna have some shirts and stuff for sale on there. Hell yeah, uh, hell yeah. I might not be Asian enough shirts, and then <laughs> if they let me put it on there, a yellow fist, a yellow <laughs> Black Lives Matter fist. Uh, but we'll see if they allow that. Y L M, dude. <laughs> We'll see how, how WordPress is with fucking, uh, fucking uh, whatever. Um, yeah, alexycomedy.com. I'm at, where am I next? Oh, tonight, if you're listening today on, <laughs> on, on the fucking uh, the 12th, uh, every Sunday, we're at the Boxcar Bar and Grill. Hell yeah. Me Hell and Jalen, yeah. Black Panther, Hidden Dragon. We host What a Joke Comedy Open Mic. Uh, I kind of wish we didn't call it a thing because we made a, they made like a fucking Instagram like account. And Facebook page for the mics, and I have to like mention eight things in it. It's fucking don't overcomplicate shit. Just have one clown college. Thing, you know what I mean? Like don't have fucking, CCP, dude. Don't have a <laughs> don't have a CCP. Yeah, that's fucking amazing. Podcast. I fucking love you guys. Uh, no, okay, that's inspiration for your logo that I'll that I'll try to make. <laughs> Fuck yeah, <Hell> CCP. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. It'll be a mixture of the Chicago Bears logo and then like uh, or the Chicago Cubs logo and the China flag. Um, <laughs> But uh, no. Uh, yeah, also Wednesdays, get Huntsville Comedians. Keep your Wednesdays free. Me and Jalen are still uh, have our eyes set on that day. So if you're trying to start an open mic on that day, I'm going to fucking do You just better watch out. Uh, I'm not going to let you. That simple. Uh, other than that, I'm at Kerrigan's Pub in Birmingham on the 16th. And that will be all at Funny Business with AJ O'Leary. Oh, yeah. That'll yeah. be really fun. Jalen's on that, too. Thanks again, Alex, for coming. Hell yeah, Appreciate you guys. Good Appreciate time. you. Yeah.